Emily, Tim, right now, police and protesters are as close as they've ever been all night, just a few feet away from each other. 20 foot pine trees now stand where the old sawmill once was. And even though those trees have grown, this town hasn't. But now they have to get out of the car and deliver the mail an extra 20 inches or so. It's not a long difference, but it is the difference between Brian getting his mail and getting nothing. The coroner and sheriff's deputies just left a few moments ago, so we're able to get closer here. And now tire tracks and downed reeds give us a better idea of where the car was when they pulled it out. This has turned into a dire situation at Kingston, a hot spot of coronavirus, 80 plus positive cases now, five people hospitalized, seven people dead. Because you do understand that when you take something of someone else's without asking, that that is by definition stealing. No, uh, I didn't look at that at, at all. I hate to say this, but they've made no progress in the sense that the fire is 0% contained. Whether it was beer and wine on shelves or the nerves of locals, everything in Ridgecrest was shaking today. A year after massive twin earthquakes, Ridgecrest is telling a story of triumph. But here in Trona, just down the road, it's been a year of fear. Big question is why are so many steps being fast tracked in the process of these bills? We came here to the state capitol to ask that very question. And you can see it's moved the road to the side a solid foot. This side of the road, even right over here, you still see the smoke smoldering up from the ground and migrants from the caravan are coming here to this park in Tijuana that's been turned into a shelter. President Donald Trump in Bakersfield today signing key legislation to move more water down to the Central Valley. Medicare status in jeopardy, constant violations, no improvement, and poor patient outcomes, even death. That's what I uncovered tonight as I continue investigating Kingston Healthcare Center, the coronavirus hotspot in Kern County. Half of all COVID deaths in Kern County stem from Kingston Healthcare Center, a nursing home which our investigation uncovers is in hot water with the feds. A Medicare database labels Kingston a special focus facility. That doesn't mean Kingston has a special focus. It means Medicare is especially focused on Kingston due to a pattern of failure. <laughs> failure a nursing assistant's daughter tells me is constantly covered up. She was complaining about a lot and nothing she could do about it because they throw stuff under the rug. So tonight, we're uncovering the shortcomings of this nursing home, starting with their most recent health inspection when they racked up 39 citations, three times the state average and five times the national average for a nursing home inspection. Next, we look at staffing. A lot of people that work there know that it's not running right. Licensed nursing staff at Kingston spend an average of an hour and 16 minutes with each patient. That's a half hour less than the state average. The client wasn't getting the care that they should be getting because they short staff. Our investigation shows Kingston's continuous health violations and short staff are leading to poor patient outcomes, even death. Compared to the average California nursing home, short-term residents at Kingston are 35% more likely to end up in the hospital and 500% more likely to develop ulcers. Long-term residents at Kingston are 50% more likely to go to the hospital, 75% more likely to develop an ulcer, 70% more likely to get a UTI, 32% more likely to lose mobility, 250% more likely to be restrained, and 47% more likely to lose too much weight. They don't care about them clients. They don't care. All of this is why Medicare says Kingston has not improved in 20 months of being a special focus facility, putting Kingston in danger of losing Medicare status, the way most of their patients pay their bills, according to our research, which shows Kingston's income is 25% more reliant on Medicare than the average American nursing home. And the owners of Kingston Healthcare Center still have not responded to my requests for comment. Deep down inside, man, it just hurts. Uh, it's, a, it's a hurt that shouldn't be there. That hurt inside Todd Farnsworth today was born December 2016 on Callaway Drive at 7.50 a.m. That's when a drunk driver crashed into Todd's daughter, Jordan, turning this bright-smiled college sophomore... Oh, look 
Look at you smile. Into a shell of her former self. Beds down the hatch. Entirely dependent on her parents, unable to eat except through a tube. Good job. But that's only where the pain begins. Through three and a half years and 32 court appearances, the pain grew as Esteban Gutierrez, the man responsible, dragged out the process, changing lawyers nine times. This family deserved this case to be done two years ago. Then today, court appearance 33, sentencing, a chance for closure, except Gutierrez never showed. It's insulting, basically, that he's a no-show today. It should infuriate this entire community. We pray with her. Although Gutierrez wasn't there, Todd still gave his victim impact statement, trying to keep his emotions in check, something he's forced to do forever. I'm not going to let this guy rule my heart. All the while, Gutierrez runs, something Jordan will likely never do again. In Bakersfield, Jeff Platt, Eyewitness News. Many people have told us they've been waiting days and even weeks to get their COVID results back, but Arc Point Labs here in Bakersfield now has a test that guarantees a result within an hour. And there it is. Getting a COVID test is uncomfortable. I'm pulling it up. Waiting days or weeks to get your results can be equally uncomfortable, but at Arc Point Labs, you don't have to wait. If we can give them an answer today, yes or no. The lab is using this Sophia 2 COVID analyzer. 15 minutes after your sample goes in, they have your results. A quick turnaround needed for people traveling, getting surgery, or visiting a newborn. We had calls before we had the device for those types of scenarios, and now we have an answer that can give them in a timely fashion an answer so that they can move forward. Get all the liquid off the sponge. This test costs $125, but offers instant knowledge. And while ArcPoint doesn't take insurance, there's still a chance you can get your provider to cover the cost. So we don't really deal with insurance. We don't bill insurance, but we will provide super bills so that you can at seek reimbursement from your insurance company. And we've had some positive feedback on whether that would happen or not. ArcPoint Labs has already seen so much demand for this test. They're turning their alleyway into a drive-through test site. They've already ordered the pop-up tents. They're just waiting for them to arrive so that they can collect samples without anyone needing to go into the building. In Bakersfield, Jeff Platt, Eyewitness News.